Indianapolis community leaders are also sharing their reaction and concerns over the violent arrest of Tyree Nichols. Yeah, Fox 59's Eric Graves spoke with community leaders about what they think needs to change when it comes to policing nationwide and here at home. And we do want to warn you that some of the video that you're, you will soon see here may, of course, be disturbing to some viewers and has graphic content. It's so dehumanizing as a person. Reverend David Green, the president of the Concerned Clergy of Indianapolis, says the video of Tyree Nichols being severely beaten has an impact on the whole country. People see that and they think, okay, they're going to be nervous at the next traffic stop, right? Is this going to happen to me? Five officers beat Nichols during a traffic stop in early January. He died three days later from his injuries. The Memphis police officers responsible were part of a Scorpion unit, police officers who patrolled areas with high crime to reduce violence. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor says Indianapolis units are different. Our specialty units are usually assigned to target. Uh, they're not out just looking in general making traffic stops. After the release of the video, Reverend Green and concerned clergy sent a letter demanding more transparency in the investigation into the in-custody death of Herman Whitfield III in April 2022. Whitfield's death happened after officers restrained him while responding to a mental health call. The coroner ruled his death a homicide. Green compared that to Nichols' death. Both of them have died and both should still yet be living. Green also wants police to release the body camera footage of the police shooting of Anthony Macklin. Officers shot Macklin three times on December 31st after he had been sleeping in a car in his grandmother's driveway. Macklin survived. This is technology. You have nothing to gain by trying to delay it. Green commended the Memphis police chief for her quick actions in Nichols' case. She made swift decisions that will allow the community to say this appears to be a transparent process. The Memphis Police Department released the video of Nichols being beaten 20 days after it happened. It took two months for IMPD to release an edited version of the body camera footage from Whitfield's death. It's been almost a month and IMPD has not released the body cam of Macklin being shot. Chief Taylor says they're not ready for that yet. Still uh, trying to put things together and make sure we're clear on what happened there. The five officers involved with Nichols' death have also been fired and charged. Chief Taylor says a resolution in the Whitfield investigation is in the court process right now. In Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett did say that he and Chief Taylor are always looking for better ways to conduct policing efforts. Taylor says he has conversations with other chiefs and with concerned citizens to learn more about what their concerns are specifically.